Welcome to the 2024 Chicago Auto Show. This is gonna be an exciting show. There's gonna be some debut vehicles that have yet to be released, 2025 models. And a whole lot of interactivity happening for those who attend the show. I'm Randy Stern. I'm George Torline. Without further ado, let's hit the floor. Let's go. What you're looking at is the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. This is not the old Land Cruiser you remember, say, up to about a few years ago. This is a brand new architecture. Uh, it's got four-cylinder turbocharged power this time around, but it's still got the off-road capability that you expect from a Land Cruiser. So what a way to kick off the auto show by showing you this great vehicle. So let's go to the next Toyota model. This is the 2024 Toyota Tacoma, the best-selling mid-size pickup truck in the United States. And it's all new with turbocharged four-cylinder power all the way through, including a hybrid version. All of the reviews have been very positive. This is a major uptick from the previous model. It really looks nice, doesn't it? It does, I can't wait to get that in. Let's go on and start looking at some cars. So this is the 2025 Toyota Camry. It's on a similar architecture as the previous generation model, but look at the body very sharp and right in the design lines of this particular generation. Now there's only one engine available and that would be the uh, hybrid that has been on previous uh, Camrys, but it's, the power has been upgraded. You also have a choice of either front wheel drive or all wheel drive. And there's only four trims available with uh, two of the sport trims and two of the comfort trims. And I can't wait to drive this one. And we are on the hunt for another new 2025 model year vehicle that I think is a real winner for Toyota. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2025 Toyota Crown Signia. This is a new hybrid only crossover which shares the same platform as the Toyota Crown sedan. Now, the, the good news is that this will fill a space that's premium, just like the Crown sedan, but also is accommodating for five people and their stuff. However, the big change is that this will replace the Toyota Venza, which we actually really love. So I'm hoping this Crown Signia will be much better than the Venza. And again, we shall see. It's a, it really looks sharp. All right, so let's go merge into traffic. And just a little note that Toyota is now a, the automotive partner for the NFL. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hyundai. There's the new Kona. We'll be seeing that very soon. Love the design. Oh, well, wait, this is not just any Kona. This is the Kona Electric. Yes, you We're, see the power port. Exactly. The Ionic 6, we're hoping to get that in as well. It's, uh, it's on the same uh, architecture as the Ionic 5, of course, with a four-door sedan. So the new Santa Fe, brand new design, front wheel drive bias, but if you really look at it, it's a little bit more ruggedized and ready to roll. So it's kind of designed sort of like a Land Rover Discovery or, or even a Bronco. But you know what? You'll find that with the rugged looks, it'll just be a very nice family friendly vehicle. So brand new for 2024. Now a couple of vehicles on the Hyundai lineup is getting revised this year. This is one of them. This is the 2024 Elantra. So it's showing a little bit of a much more sleeker design overall. It's already been sleek, but the front end's been modified to even be more sleeker. And so you have the same drive lines, the same uh, everything clean hybrids, but Again, a much more sharper design for the uh, Hyundai Elantra. All right, what do we have here? We got the brand new 2024 Sonata. So this is the 2024 Sonata, same situation as the Elantra, it's revised, made sleeker. So what you're seeing is the front end is emulating the same design language as in the Hyundai Kona. You know, that, that light bar and of course the headlamps are moved below that uh, crease here with a big with the big grill area but still same old sonata 
very well done. And oh, by the way, the interior is now new. So it's, uh, it's emulating the same type of design that you're seeing on the Ionic 5, Ionic 6, and so forth. Oh, and speaking of interactive uh, activities, Hyundai has this indoor track for the EV models. What we've seen already are Ionic 5, Ionic 6, and the Kona Electric. And so therefore, this is a demonstration of how quiet and maneuverable those three models are. And now we are approaching Nissan. Now, to you and me, that almost looks like an Aria. And it is an Aria. However, this is for a exploration that's going from the North to the South Pole or the other way around. However, we're talking 30,000 kilometers in an electrified crossover SUV. And just look at those tires. Big hitch on the front for gear. Looks like a good time. And that's what a regular Aria looks like. Okay, we're gonna go into Volkswagen. This is the 75th anniversary of Volkswagen arrival into the United States. And it's got a lot going for it. So you have a few of the original bugs here. However, let's go from the past to the future. Welcome to the ID Buzz. This is on the new, this is on the new electric uh, vehicle platform. And it's going to be in both rear engine and dual engine models. Doesn't it look great? So I think the big story for Volkswagen is what is old is new again. More of the future, the ID4. Still selling, still selling decently. All right, let's get to Chevrolet here. Oh, now we're seeing some stuff here. First things first is the 2025 Equinox. Um, same formula, different body. Uh, strictly a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. Do not confuse this with the electric version. And right next to it is the 2024 Traverse. This is the brand new version of the mid-size three-row SUV. Strictly 2.5 liter turbocharged engines all the way. So this is the hottest vehicle in the United States, or at least one of them. This is the Chevrolet Trax. Why is it so hot? It's not because you can't find it at dealerships. You certainly can find a few models. However, it's about the price point. Because of the relatively low price point of this particular vehicle, customers are snapping them up left and right. Okay, everybody, let's go to Ford. When you're at the show, Ford will take you a little bit of a ride to see its capabilities of its Bronco and Bronco Sport, especially that hill. Are you ready for a good ride? Now, one of the new vehicles that we haven't seen from Ford is the brand new 2024 Ford Ranger. This is their midsize pickup, was introduced in Australia and Thailand, and finally being made here in the United States, uh, powered by a 2.3 liter four cylinder engine, and of course is available in many different trims, including the one right next to it, the 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor. Raptor. Raptor, one of our favorite words. We love a Raptor, and this one will not disappoint. Look at all the add-ons with big wheels. Nicely done interior. You've got stitching. You've got the red inserts. Now, You've probably seen its debut at the Rolex 24, but this is Mustang's racing machine, the GTD. And I'll tell you what, if it does very well this year, hmm, I might become a fan. Sorry, Lexus. Oh, and while we're at it, 
Here's a 2024 Mustang, Dark Horse. We know someone's got a Dark Horse and love it. You'll love something like the Dark Horse. If not, hey, there's always a GT. Now, the biggest news of the 2024 Chicago Auto Show is the introduction of a revised and Chicago-built 2025 Ford Explorer. Mostly four-cylinder turbocharged uh, performance, except when you step up to the ST, it's twin turbocharged V6. Gee, they actually have merchandise on the floor from Ford. I wonder if there's anything that will fit me. So many Broncos and Ra oh, Raptor R. Yes, Raptor. That's right. We just had one in and we we're loving it. And a Mustang convertible. Happy 60th anniversary, Mustang. Well deserved. So we enter the woods and right through the trees is Subaru. We got Outbacks. We've got Foresters. We've got an Impreza. We also got a Solterra over there. But we're not just here for any of those vehicles. We're here for this. The 2025 Subaru Forester. This is still on the global platform, but it's got a brand new body, brand new interior. Everything's been updated. Everything that we have asked Subaru to do for the Forester is right here. And boy, does it look sharp. The greenhouse looks a little bit different. It's got a little edgier shape to it. Oh, and by the way, we got more uh, Foresters up here. This is the 2025 again. And don't, and don't worry, we're staying, although it looks like we're moving. But yeah, more of the 2025 uh, Subaru Forester. Looks a hell of a lot better than it used to be. More of the forest through the trees here. And we got other places to go here. And now we come to a familiar brand to us, Mazda. And what do they have here, Mazda? Oh my goodness, is, is that the VNR machine? It can't be the VNR machine, is it? Nope, this is a 2024 CX-5. And it hasn't changed much since uh, our 2021, but you get the idea. I mean, gray's a little bit more matte, but you know what? It's still a CX-5. Okay, let's we'll go across the hall and say hello to Honda. And the first thing you get to see at Honda is the jet. Well, it's only the fuselage, but looks like we're ready to fly somewhere. However, speaking of flying, let's go electric, shall we? Because Honda is about to introduce a fully electric vehicle called the Prologue. This is a brand new SUV with shared components with the General Motors Ultium platform, but I'll tell you what, the body is very well executed. There's nothing GM about this vehicle. Go inside, same thing. Very, very Honda-ish. But will this be the game changer for Honda? And will we see a fully electric Honda model? Well, it starts right here with the Prologue. There are a couple of models here. The Passport's been updated and got a new black edition on top of Trail Sport. The same treatment you can get in the Ridge Line as well. However, in the Ridge Line, they now add a Trail Sport model. So both models have been revised for 2024. Now let's go into Acura. And the first thing we come up to is a 2024 TLX. It's been revised for this new year. So with the 2024 uh, Acura TLX, it's brand new grill textures, brand new front end clip, uh, a revised interior, and of course, uh, performance remains the same. With the Type S, you get a turbocharged V6 engine with all the performance in the world. However, that's not the biggest news here in Acura. It is this, the 2024 Acura ZDX. Yes, if you remember that name, it used to belong to a very swoopy uh, coupe SUV. Now, the ZDX is completely different. It's on the same platform as the Prologue, as well as the Ultium drive system. It looks sharp. It's in an accurate design language. So this is very quick view of what's happening here at BMW. We got a four series coupe. We got the seven series over there. One of the SUVs over there. Yep, BMW's got a little bit more stuff that you got this year. 
Okay, so we are at Buick. This is the 2024 Envision. This is a revised version of the current Envision with a brand new front end that is uh, inspired by the Wildcat EV concept. Everything you love in, in a Buick is right here. It's probably one of the uh, unsung Buicks. As a matter of fact, every model here is unsung. But as you can tell, it looks sharper than before. It's got some great lines up front and it continues to do so. However, let me show you the hottest vehicle in the United States of America is the Buick and Vista. And we'll be having a further, deeper uh, dive video on this one. It is very affordable. It's just right. And you can't find one at a dealer lot right now. So there's your hot vehicle of the year. Let's move on, shall we? Over there is the GMC Hummer because we're heading into GMC. It's an overlanding solution. That's strictly an EV. However, we didn't come here for that. No, we came here for the 2024 Acadia. So it's a revised platform. As a matter of fact, it's on a larger platform than the, than the outgoing uh, Acadia. Tw turbocharged four cylinder power. Like I said, a lot more room and right in line with uh, GMC's design uh, tenants at this point. Here's another GMC Acadia. That one's the Denali and it looks darn sharp. All right, Lexus. Let's talk about the new three row TX. It does not stand for Texas, but you're talking about a large three row SUV, mid-sized class, however. It's got a choice of uh, drive lines, including a plug-in hybrid connected to a V6 engine. And it's got adult space in the third row. We didn't come for the TX, however. We came for this. This is the 2024 Lexus GX. The off-roady, ready to go, ready to tackle anything and anything in its wake. This is what Lexus is going to. I mean, they wanted, they're a luxury brand, but there's a lot more tentacles to that brand. And this is one of them. It's got a hybrid drive line available and we'll still go off road with it. If you believe that. Welcome to Kia. And the first thing we're going to see is the uh, new Sorento. Now the Sorento has been updated and it's got a new front clip and a design that's aligned with the EV9. Uh, still the same old Sorento. It's got the uh, X-Pro, which allows you to go off-road. But of course, the Sorento being popular because it actually has three rows. And by the way, that's the EV9. So every year, Wintrust Bank, which is a Chicago-based bank, will bring in some of the dealerships to add to more vehicles to the lineup. And right off the bat, you'll see what they call a supercar gallery. Well, it's a supercar gallery, but there's also ultra luxury vehicles on top of that. And the biggest news from Rolls-Royce is the brand new Spectre the first all electric Rolls Royce ever. Basically, it's a fully realized dream of what Rolls Royce founders had in mind of a very peerless and quiet automobile. And that, my friends, is what we call beautiful. So guess what's coming back this year? NASCAR. NASCAR will be racing again on the streets of Chicago later this summer. Now, commanding the back of the sh of the South Hall here at the Chicago Auto Show is Chicago Drives Electric. This is a track for which you're able to ride along in an electric vehicle. And there's many different manufacturers that are here this year. For example, Tesla. There's a the Cybertruck, folks. While Tesla's here, Tesla rarely comes to auto shows. And guess what? They're here. Another automaker that's here for the first time is Lucid. This is a Lucid Air Touring that's blacked out, ready to rock. And now we go to BMW that's also here. This is the i4. Ooh, hello. 
George, you drove the I-4. What do you? I did. I loved matter it. Matter of fact, if you go up to the top, you will actually see his video review of the I-4. Fun machine. Fun machine. They also have an I-7 and an I-5. In fact, I drove the I-5 briefly at a special event the day before and extremely impressed. Now, there are other manufacturers and brands that are here. Cadillac is representing. They have the Escalade IQ, which, of course, is the electric version of the Escalade. Or probably a little bit more than that, actually. It's on the Ultium platform, along with the, uh, looks like the Lyric next door. Along with Cadillac, we also have Kia, and they have an electric vehicle set up here. Looks like they got EV9s. Ford also has uh, vehicles available to ride along. And, of course, Chevrolet. Chevrolet's here, too. Volkswagen's got some vehicles for you to ride along in. Yep, and Nissan is here. They also have vehicles to ride along in. Looks like a bunch of Arias here. Well, George, we did it. We toured the entire South Hall of the 2024 Chicago Auto Show. That's right, we saw all the exhibitors and all the vehicles that are on display and showed you the highlights of some of the vehicles that are on display here. Absolutely, we got some more coming to you. So don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell to find out when the next video comes out for Victory and Reseda. And don't forget to check out our online content at victoryandreseda.net. Absolutely. Well, listen, this is Randy Stern. I'm George Torline, and thanks for joining us. Thank you.